and gentlemen, today we are going to cook Arctic char. It's a kind of a trout fish. It is really, really delicious. I tried it twice before and both of the time it was so delicious that I went for trying it again. So I cut the fish into small pieces and now I'm going to, as you can see, the um, oil is very hot now. I'm going to bring the fish at the beginning just to fry them. And I want to fry them really good. So I'm bringing the fish now. all the fish there. This is not the main cooking though. We just want to fry them before it starts the cooking. So that the fish doesn't stay so uh, soft and it gets easier to cook it. No, otherwise, if I directly start the fish cooking with um, with spices or with a ground of uh, onions at the beginning, then what happens is um, they because they normally are very Soft that will be will be getting broken. So good thing that we done now. Trying it, trying it at the beginning, and trying to make it as as hard as as, as hard as possible. But also at the same time, we need to check on the heat of the burner. Because if the heat is too high, the fish will burn quickly and it will not reach to the state that we want to have them. So now I put the heat in the middle and I will be putting the cover of the pan just for 5 to 10 minutes or somewhere in between. The main target is to make the fish strong and crispy as much as possible. Okay, so on the other side, we can already start preparing what else we need for this recipe. First of all, I would like to talk about the onion that we need for this recipe. You know, we, know, we need some good amount of onion for it because that's the one of the main ingredients of, of this fish dish, or you may say that's the one of the biggest auxiliary power. Once you start cooking with enough amount of onions and keep the spices in them and then cook the onion first, they actually absorb the taste of the spices. So people who cannot really go very well with the spicy food, it's a good option for them too. But on the other hand, it also really, really helpful to increase your taste. All right. So I guess the fish is um, at this moment very well burned. Sorry, my parents are very well fried. Yeah. Um, let me say that they are still sticking with my um, spatula. And that's because um, the fish is very soft. And that is why we are actually frying it at the beginning. And then we are going to start cooking it. So they are not quite ready yet to main it a couple more minutes. And I will not increase the heat though. I will keep the heat in the middle so that they get really good and fried but not burnt. And 
Also, sometimes it happens that if you fry something on a high heat, the surface level of that thing gets fried, but inside of it, it is always soft. So from there on, it's also a very good idea to fry everything always in a middle heat. You know, if possible, try to do it in even lower. But if it is too low, then it will not be well fried. So the best thing is to you know, keep it in the middle and pay more attention. You know, the, one of the good things for cooking is if you pay good attention at your cooking, you will end up with something good to have for your tummy. You know what I mean? But yeah. So pay more attention, keep your patience, and always it is important to think that what you are cooking is um, something that is going to feed some people. So it is important to have a lot of affection in your mind, have a lot of compassion in your mind. And that actually helps me in a lot of ways to cook things that, you know, other sprays, Somehow, I did not want to say anything about myself. I'm still a learner. And yeah, I never went to any professional cooking school, but cooking has been a hobby to me since uh, more than three or more than four years, you can say now. I've been living abroad for more than seven years. And most of the time I had to have my own food cooked by myself. So before coming out of my homeland, I cannot remember when was in the kitchen but after coming here everything was on my own self so I had to first learn and then keep working on it and I did it since last three four years so that's how I actually learned cooking but still I'm learning and I'm in the very beginning stage but still I do also like to create contents so that's another reason for me to be here in the world of YouTube. Anyway, I'm gonna check again what is the situation. The situation is pretty good. We may need a little more time, but it is looking like the fish is coming good along. Yeah, I sliced them into different type of pieces or different sizes because you know sometimes you will you'd like to have them with rice and with rice you will probably need a bigger piece of fish and also sometimes you probably want to have it with bread and if you want to have it with bread then smaller pieces are actually a better option all right so i put the cover back again because i've just seen that it still needs some more time and i'm looking around there are a little bit of water and probably they sprinkled oils all over. So I'm gonna wrap them quickly up, make the place a little more neat and tidy. But that's another thing for me. I always like to keep my kitchen as clean as possible. The place where I'm coming from is called Bangladesh. And in Bangladesh, it's actually a bit difficult to maintain the hygiene in the kitchen always, but yeah, people try their best and know and um, comparing to the situation comparing to the available resources the way how they manage the situation is really really praiseable and i do appreciate them too but for me i really always need neat and clean kitchen and also neat and clean um, pans or spatula or bowls whatever i'm going to use for my kitchen i, I, I do really need them 100% washed at least before doing anything. Okay, so now we have actually fried the fish for more than five minutes and it is going, should be looking good. It should be ready at this moment. So, we'll see. yeah, they're not sticking. So that's another good point. Good if we can fry them a little more just to make them more harder. The harder they are, 
the test here that would be at the end of the Kubernetes token. So that's another thing. And yeah, that side is not ready yet. And what I was, what I was saying is, the harder they get, the test yet that will be at the end of the cooking, and also it's a big lever up for the cooking, you know, because if the fish is um, soft and getting you know, broken with every stroke, like just something really happened right now, then it's um, it's really difficult to cook or at the end expecting a good result. So that's probably not going to happen with this one. But we'll see. I also explained a bit earlier that I'm a beginner and noob or a rookie in the world of cooking, so I cannot really tell you that at the end it will really be a delightful dish, but I hope, yeah. All right, some of them are getting broken, but it's a very small amount that we can actually overlook. The main thing is the fish is getting fried well, the fish is getting harder, they're getting ready for absorbing the spices I'm going to put there. And also they're getting towards something that will make my tummy really happy afterwards. Thank you very much for being with us, dear people. That's also something really appreciable. I can see there are just one people at this moment, whoever you are, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my third live cooking show at the same time also. I do like cooking fish or meat or vegetables or soup and you will find plenty of recipes from all these foods that I just said now in my channel. If you have time, just have a look around. Okay, so the fish is looking like it's enough fried. I will take them off now, but I will keep the oil there. And to do so, I will use a spatula like this. So this will actually help me to pull up the fish without the oil. Because I want to use this oil for further cooking. And things are looking like good enough. It could have been better though. Um, it's the fish, you know, the trout or the kind of trout that I'm using, it's German name is Seidling. It's a red meat fish and it's delicious. It's delightful. If you cook it properly, it will be bringing tastes like Christmas in your mouth. But thing is, um, the fish is very soft. The fish is one of the most soft fishes I have ever seen. And it's really a um, bit tricky to handle them, but it is it. So, it's ready. Now I'll put the onions there. I actually have everything ready, so I will just put them right away. And here we go. This is it. I chopped two big onions here because as I told you earlier, this is one of the biggest player of this recipe too. Last time the one I cooked on live was also something based on this same ground. You will be putting the onions first and fry them till they turn into golden brown or dark brown and also they are not like this, rather they shape into another form, like not white or not so eggy like all these things, rather they will be shrinked and they will be looking like bound, but not totally bound, rather 
you know, in the with the color of golden brown, I would say. So that's what we want to reach here with these onions. It's gonna take some time. It will probably take like two to three minutes, but that's all right. You can also cover up the pan. Then it will take a little less than two to three minutes. But also at the same time, you need to keep an eye on it because it can happen that the onions get burnt so quickly that almost everything we have done till now gets um, not completely invalid, but still, you know, the fish you can use again, but then again, you need to chop onions and chopping onions could be really you know, a sad thing to do because of the crying bird. And yeah. <laughs> So therefore, it's good to be a little bit attentive with the with the cooking while you are doing it. And also, let me tell you in this opportunity about one thing, which is this recipe, the fish that I'm using today is called Saibling. I told you earlier, this is a type of a trout fish and they call, actually their name is Arctic char. They are from the family of salmonoid and they are widely known as trout. In Germany, they call it Saibling. Usually, this, this type of fresh fish you won't get from the super shops. So what you really need to do is to look for if you have any weekly bazaar or markets in your city where they sell this type of stuffs like food ingredients or fish or meat or vegetables or spices or anything else, that will be your place to get fresh fish. If you're living anywhere around the north, you will be definitely have more fish than south because not there is not sea and that's a good place or that's also a good source of fishes. And you know, if you're living in Hamburg, <laughs> there will be a lot of fish. Anyway, let's see what's happening here. As I told you, we need, we need to be always careful about what is happening on the pan while we're cooking. There's no other way. A lot of people actually do not like to follow the rules and they do multiple things while cooking. It's multitasking. Yeah, multitasking is good. But sometimes it could be not so good, as we expect. Anyway, you may see through the cover that the onion has changed um, their color from white to it has turned into a slight yellowish type of uh, color. but. We still need some more time, like maybe one more minute in the same heat to see that what really happens. We need, uh, we need it a little more fried, a little more than it is now. Once the onions are fried well, we will be putting some spices there. But for cooking fish, you do not really need a lot of spices. Like normally, if you want to cook meat, you need a lot of spices. So I wanted to say like meat, but there are also recipes you can even find in my channel. In which is not, which is, I mean, where the food is cooked with the minimum amount of ingredients, minimum possible amount of ingredients, and also mostly all the available ingredients from a regular kitchen. So yeah, but there are also exquisite meat recipes in the channel, um, which are cooked with special spices and usually I would be using sp special spices or you know, like uh, recipes that takes long time or recipes that are delicate. 
um, on spatial occasions. Normally, I would be for my regular days, I would be just trying with all my easy recipes, and that's why I have a stream of easy recipes in my channel. You guys are very much welcome to have a look at all of those things. The onion is coming along. Once it is ready, we'll be putting spices around there, like turmeric powder, chili powder, coriander powder, cumin powder, and salt. And that's all. And then we'll be putting some tomato paste. I would usually prefer biogradable tomatoes or no, original tomatoes instead of paste. But today, somehow, I forgot to manage some. So only for today, I will be using the tomato paste. It's the same. Actually, they use fresh tomatoes to create the paste. But why I'm not into it is like they, they put it in, the, in their own packaging system. They put it in their own machine. In, and then it goes through the machine and then gets inside of the tube and then comes out of it and there are people who are involved with doing it so you never know like from which station or from which point it can pick up something which is not really good for your health so this is why I do like to use uh, most of the bio things or most of the um, original things instead of their paste version or powder version but there are some things that we cannot do anything about it and there are also some special days or cases like today for the tomato for me. I do not have any. So I gotta use some pastes today. But I'm telling you, I won't recommend it when you have other options available. Okay, so the onions are very, very on the go. They are ready. They are enough fried. I would say they are well fried, or not over fried, not under fried as well. They are just on the right point. So I will start putting um, the spices there. And also, I will put my water heater uh, on because once I put the spices there, I will also put a little bit of water so that the spices don't get burned. So I'm going to start putting the spices now. I'm going to start with chili powder. Have a look at it. It's a little amount, but it's enough. Now I'm going to put turmeric powder. I just got, um, what is it called, a notification that there was a little bit of issues with the uh, internet or whatever it is, so therefore there was a disruption in the streaming, but I hope uh, it's not the same case anymore now. Alright, so the spices are here. And what's going to come next is the salt. For the salt, I will also go the same amount like cumin powder and coriander powder, one teaspoon. And here go. Now the things are going to mixed, get mixed up with each other very well. Uh -huh. A little bit of water will help them to get mixed even better. So, a little bit of boiled water in 100 degrees centigrade. I'm going to put it it's like just a half of a cup. Or if you want to know in milliliters, just like 100 to 150 milliliters. That's enough. Okay. So, if you look at it, it's already making oily. It's not the oil that we used to fry fishes earlier are still good and they're working very well. So the oil is being absorbed by all the onions and then together they're getting mixed up with 
all the spices. So what it is getting ready here is already something that's a good base of a delicious dish. And today we are going to make a delicious fish dish. Anyway, now I'm going to bring the fish and put it then and put it on them onions and here we go i'm trying to be as careful as possible because as i told you earlier this could be a bummer only because they are very soft but apparently nothing happened which is unexpected what I mean is nothing unexpected happens. I'm sorry for my English as well. My mother language is Bangla, so you know, it's my second language. I mean, there is nothing called second language, but it's a language that I learned afterwards. So that's why there could be some fumbling, so there could be some maybe wrong wording or whatever. And also maybe a little bit of accent. But who cares? As long as I can communicate with you, right? Okay, so now we put the fish on the onion. Now there is very crucial part for, for this cooking now. And for that, I will actually try to use special spatula like this one. So this is better. It goes directly under everything without disturbing the surface. So on on the surface level or on top we have the fish that we do not want to disturb them but we need to split them up. So I'm trying to do it as unintentionally as possible. I mean, I'm doing it intentionally but I'm pretending like I'm not doing it or I'm, it's happening unintentionally so the fish or the fishes do not really feel disturbed and get broken. Otherwise, I will go ham on them. I will go ham on them when the food is ready. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, this nice spatula helps me to clip all my patients. And they are now in a position that we can really put the cover back on just for a small period of time probably just for two to three minutes and not more than that meanwhile what will happen i'm going to explain you now so meanwhile what will happen is fish that will absorb the spices. They will absorb, absorb the aroma of the powdery spices. We put four different type of powdery spices together. There are oil and we fried all of them together on, on onions. And also the oil was used to fry the same fish before. So the oil has the flavor of the fish. And then the onions have got the spices. They got their own aroma and all those things together are getting mixed inside of this very pan under this very cover so that's where the main explosion happening that's where everyone is exchanging among them and they are getting more edible they are at this moment not so edible but slowly they will when they are enough cooked they will be more edible and yes definitely delicious more delicious I mean, sorry, not more delicious, just delicious because at this moment they are not edible. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. So now let's have a look and on what's going on. Yes. So what I'm saying is the fish is looking nice. And now I'm going to put the green peas, which is also one of the very important ingredients of this recipe is for that a little bit of saute but check how I'm doing it 
that's how you're going to do it. If you want to just clip them like like you usually would be doing while we are cooking meat, then it's going to be a huge disaster. The whole entire fish uh, pieces or whatever we have here will get broken and get mixed up with each other. So that will not be a good thing to have a look at and <clears throat> to eat later. Anyway, so it's time now for bringing the green peas and the green peas is here. Mm -hmm. Good. And I will also put some potatoes just for the state of increasing taste. You know, a lot of people may not agree with me because um, potatoes actually absorb the spices or the aroma also for themselves, but you know, then they also get a part of the food. So they get more tasty at the moment. So that's good enough for me. It's different way of thinking, different way of perception, different perception from different people, and also different culture, different cuisine, different food habits. So many discrepancies. So it's actually sometimes not easy to find a good way, or not, not a good way, but not easy to find a convincing way for everybody. But, you know, if your food is delicious, at the end of the day, your food will speak for yourself. So, pay more attention to that, actually. Everything else will be okay. As you may remember, Bob Marley once said, every little thing is going to be all right. Baby, don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Okay, so... I just hummed a little bit of Bob Marley, those who were uh, wondering what is happening. Yes, uh, I was trying to sing. Anyway, so now I'm going to put uh, some more water. Not too much, just a little bit. Maybe one cup. Yay. So, now that I put the water, it actually opens the last part of the cooking procedure and also the last part of this recipe. And the part is very simple. I will cook the fish in this way in low or medium heat for 20 to 25 minutes, if not, then maximum 30 minutes, but not more than that. And once the food, uh, once the fish is well cooked, I will actually keep che checking on it. As I told all of you earlier that it's always important to be attentive to your food. And while you are cooking, pay all of your attention there. Try to find disturbance free time or try to find any type of business free time for cooking. Otherwise, you will never find the right meaning of cooking for yourself or your family, whatever. It's just my opinion, but what I was trying to say is I will keep checking on the fish, whether it is ready within 20 minutes or 25, or maximum it could take 30 minutes sometimes. Um, but I, I will keep the heat in the low medium level so that it do not get burnt or the water do not get um, streamed out steamed out before the cooking is finished so that's why low medium and one another thing is just at the end very end of the cooking you want to put some cilantro you want to put some salamancha you want to put some coriander this guy this green little thing this changes everything of the food from zero to plus 100. <laughs> For me, I really like coriander. I try to put coriander on almost everything, but yeah, there are some foods that cannot actually have coriander. So apart from those, 
I try to use coriander everywhere and I will use coriander in this dish too. While it is almost done, I'll just sprinkle them above and it will be done. Okay, so with this, I wanna say that we have come to the end of the live session and what happened with the cooking or how the food was, I will create a story later and post it on YouTube. So please keep an eye on the YouTube. And also if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, do that. Otherwise you will probably not get the notification of the shorts or of the result of this cooking. And thank you very much to be with me. I wish all of you a happy Saturday, happy left of the Saturday. And then tomorrow is Sunday, which is also a weekend in Germany, but in some other lands not. So I wish you guys, if you have weekend left, nice rest of the weekend. If you do not, then a very successful week ahead. I'm looking forward to meet all of you guys in our next live session, as well as in our next productions video productions we are working on some travel blogs at the same time also and definitely cooking is ongoing so a lot of interesting things are on track we will stay in touch thank you very much and once again there will be a short about the result of this cooking so keep an eye on it the shorts will be published anywhere in between the next 24 hours and apart from that, if you have any question, anything else, or if you want to say something, give any feedback, just find my email address in the about section of my channel. I'm looking forward to see you guys again later. Goodbye. Have a good day.